been wanting to do a little update video. So here is some traffic going by. Here is my possum purple passion fruit growing up into a rubber tree. Walk all the way around it to show you this guy. Actually taller than I am now. But that's the high vine. We got a ton of cactus. Cactus is going crazy. Starting to bloom. We got the hibiscus. These little guys we got, they're supposed to be special. This is all tortoise food, all the hibiscus. This is not tortoise food. It's not looking too hot after the winter. It'll be alright though. It's got some new growth getting ready to shoot out. Finger lime's doing good. It's got some new growth on it. Florida Haas Avocado, still doing good. Oh, sugar loaf. It's a regular pineapple. It's almost done with the blooming stage. They're really cool. Another sugar loaf. Here is a sugar apple that looked dead for a long time. It looked dormant. It was dormant. It looked dead. But you can see, here it is, if I can get it to focus, a little flower coming out. It's quite a few flowers if you pay attention to it all over the place. They're real tiny. Here's the other big pineapple. It's in the middle of the blooming stage. That's going to be a pretty big pineapple. Something we noticed yesterday is the little sucker growing off the bottom down here. That's also got itself a little baby pineapple. Another sugar loaf. It's the miracle fruit. We've actually been eating quite a bit off of that lately. We got probably 10 fruits off of it in the past week and a half. And this big guy, this is the one that was in my aquaponics setup. It's pretty big. Even some of the tomatoes on it had some pretty good size to them. Can't remember exactly what it was. I think it's a Roma tomato. Tried to stake it up, but it's very quickly outgrowing the steak. Dragon fruit down there is doing good. These dragon fruits are doing real good. <clears throat> I don't know what that is. I think it's just a tree that's growing in there. Even the big guy. Got some growth on him. He won't focus. Got these guys. I just moved some of these around the other day. The peppers looking pretty good. All the lettuces are looking real good. Some spring mix. The old cucumber. And some flowers. Big old bell pepper on there. It's my spinach. I'm still proud of it. I got lid on everything because 
The uh, sun's been beating through here pretty bad, creating a lot of algae. Big guy back there, I'm going to use that as a, some sort of a, just a garden pot, I guess. And plant a bunch of stuff in it. And that is something different. Let me show you that. So when I said different, what it really meant was, it's my banana that I had, that I planted in the yard. And since I planted it, a lot of the leaves appear to be yellowing out. I don't know what's going on with that. But I don't think it's disease or anything. I think it's just damaged leaves that are finally kind of dying off on me. The little pup down there, doing great. We just had a new leaf unfold the other day. This thing is starting to grow like crazy now that I've got it in the ground. Down here by the shed. See the bigger two. I went ahead and planted those yesterday. And I've got my other mango planted in a big 25 gallon pot. Right. I have them over against the shed because some of the neighborhood raccoons are trying to dig in them. I'll show you guys something else around the back of the shed. I've actually been waiting a few minutes for my air conditioner to shut off, so I didn't have to talk real loud, try to speak over the air conditioner, but apparently it's not going to shut off. I put a gutter on the back of the shed, and uh, gave a little piece of pipe going down to an IBC tub. Nothing super spectacular. I'm just hoping that once we get some halfway decent heavy rain, we'll be able to keep up with the water on all the plants. Well, that's it for now. Not a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. Still early spring. And now it shuts off, of course. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.